Because I, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you this, KB. Mm-hmm. And you smiling, but I'm so serious. Mm-hmm. And I don't even know if you was going to leave with this, but I am. I bet I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I will. I saw some, something yesterday that, for the first time, pissed me off. I, I know. It, a it lot of people me the wrong way too. watch our show, and they think because I be having energy, I'm yelling and different things like that, that I be pissed off. But it's just, like, you know, for show and entertainment and a passion. Yeah. That shit, though, had me, like, hot for real, for real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jonte Porter, are you shitting me? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm not even laughing, no. bro. Like, no. And, it's- and. I, I'll let I'll, you can go into the details because I don't want to go right in. And in the article, it said in a game on January 26th against the Clippers, there were an increased betting interest on the under for Jonte Porter's props. Uh, that evening, Jonte Porter played just four minutes before leaving the game because of what the Raptors said was an aggravation of an eye injury that he suffered four days earlier against the Memphis Grizzlies. Porter did not score against the Clippers and had three rebounds, one assist, and did not attempt the three, meaning that all of his under props hit. The next day, as a part of the daily report for users on, uh, betting results a sports book stated that the under on Jonte Porter's threes was the biggest money winner for betters of the NBA props for that evening he's one of those dudes that he's just not that guy right so like he should know realistically that that can probably be flagged if it's if it looks too suspicious mm-hmm. no one's hammering the just the Jonte Porter <laughs> under yes if all of the if, if everything is true because they do have to investigate and mm-hmm. everything. Jonte Porter is a damn fool. He's a damn fool. Anybody with any type of sense understands that betting, it is first and foremost a business. Yes. This is a major operation from everybody who is running these sites and casino. Whatever. It is a business. You're also in a business of the NBA which to think you can just loosey goosey randomly put twenty thousand dollars on Jonte Porter, whether you was doing it yourself through your mama account, a cousin, a friend, and a group chat, you have to be a damn fool to think nobody is it's going to. Notice. Yes, that's just stupid. This is greed, and that's why I'm glad he got caught. Mm-hmm. And I hope anybody else in the league or any around this shit gets caught too, because this is just pure greed. It is a privilege to be in the NBA. It is a privilege to be able to pay your bills from a game like the NBA. It's not Isaiah it Austin <laughs> has NBA talent, was going to the NBA, but he got stopped for some shit that he his he can't control his body. And here it is. You have the opportunity, fine and well, but you want to take your opportunity and bet on your damn self. Yo, Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame because when Pete Rose bet, he bet on him to win. Hey, that, <laughs> hey you bet on, on your real, stuff to be ass. On the real, crazy. I was gonna that say, what's crazy. the difference? And it's not like it's gonna make a big difference, but at least if he would have taken his overs and he was trying to like, yes. he would get it better. Yeah. He take I, twenty shots all of us. For real, yeah. I have a lot more respect. I yeah. look at you a lot different as a man I'll and as a competitor and as a person yeah. where you bet the under on yourself, Mike. I'm coming to here. I want you to put twenty thousand on this podcast. I'm gonna be ass today i just got a feeling in my stomach that i'm gonna be ass today today is gonna be my worst podcast that is crazy to me he taking me under on himself yeah that means he knew beforehand i'm about to sit out this game the video no, where he, he hits he, the three he faked injuries yes yes um, i see it hey, hey, <laughs> yeah that's crazy well, Mike is, what the hell are you doing twenty thousand dollars on the over i mean for the under on yourself is the most ridiculous shit i've ever heard Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame because at least he had enough cojones to bet on himself. Pete Rose coming out, hey, I'll put 50000 We finna bust their ass. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? Jonte Porter could have just been out there just busting his ass to get a better contract. Mm-hmm. And he could have ended up getting way more money than 40 now, bands. That, that's like, a that, great that's, point, Derek. Like, that's what he could have done. He could have... Bet on himself to just go out, not not, not betting, a little, not yeah, actually not a betting, little, so. but yeah. like he could have went out there. He had the opportunity because <laughs> he go bet out there on himself. <laughs> yeah, he <did. laughs> he could have went out there so and hooped well. and got a better contract and been making millions. Instead. That's a nail. And now it's there. like now you might not never get a contract yep. again because when you play in that center position right now, all you got to do is he already was shooting threes, even though he really wasn't making a high volume of them. But like <laughs> hey, he was shooting because he was betting at the goddamn. Under. <laughs> yeah, who <laughs> knows? Who knows what his real game looked like? Yeah, he out there. Try- <laughs> He's trying to be out there on ass on purpose. So who knows? Who yeah. knows what this game is like? Yeah. He could honestly rebounded, speaking. block shots. Because the Jonte Porter I know, game. the Jonte Porter I know is a remarkable three point shooter. Because it was speculated, people been saying, man, he probably not the only one. He probably ain't the only one betting. He's the only damn fool betting the under on himself. Yes, especially I, a lot of. Money. I don't a think nobody else in the NBA. They probably is betting. Don't get me wrong. They probably are betting. 
I don't think they bet Neander on himself. That's just you sabotaging. It's a word I can't even say on here. You literally sabotaging your team. To bet every under is (laughs) crazy. No, yourself. And yourself. Yourself. I've never, like, I I, I get it. You know what I mean? I'm not a selfish person either, but damn, I want myself to do good. I'm not going to (laughs) lie. I don't ever come in like, man, I'm just. Especially because he don't have a guaranteed contract. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a guaranteed contract. He could have played for a guaranteed contract. (laughs) This shit make no sense. He was playing on the Raptors who are bad and playing, like, really I don't want to start no rumors. This shit just don't make no more sense. They got to make sure he ain't got no drug problem. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm serious. They got to make sure he don't have no drug or alcohol type of problem. They got to go make sure. J.B. Bickerstaff was saying that some gamblers was threatening him. They yes. got to make sure this young man ain't getting gambled. I mean, again, threatened or something. This makes no sense, bro. They have to check in and make sure he is okay in some way, shape, or form. I'm not trying to start no rumors. Threatening them, threatening their lives, their families, sending them directly. Yeah, J.B. Bickerstaff, they was this, talking about his kids and yes, stuff. Yes, and that's like. Where he live. Why, why do that? That shit is bogus. It, they, that Jamie happens Dickens a lot. Is also, <laughs> he's also a multimillionaire, so y'all better be picking y'all ba- your battles. Yes. If, if <laughs> I was a play, an NBA player or a coach, and I was a multimillionaire, you in my DM, all right, say less. Five thousand on you. <laughs> Fat, I'll show you how to gamble. I just never. I'll understood. show you how to gamble. You want you want to talk about my kids, the school they go to? Like I ain't a multimillionaire. All right, cool. F- two fifty on him. Two fifty on you. And that's how I'm sitting. I just put two fifty on you. I'm gonna show you how to gamble. Watch, watch my watch my parlay hit. Watch my parlay hit. They got these dudes messed up because they because he wear a uh, wear a little polo white culture. All right, y'all y'all play with the wrong one. Money is powerful. Man. Y'all play y'all play with the wrong one. Especially if I'm if I had Monty Williams contract as a coach. <laughs> come on, Monty come on. Get, I'm gonna I'm, I'm scare the hell out of you. They gonna have this shit gonna get so big. Uh, when Wold find out about this, I'm finna be on the hot seat. Cause y'all ain't finna come in and intimidate me. I'm using my me. Phoenix Suns money on your ass. These grown, grown <laughs> this ain't men, even my money. grown men, y'all, y'all talking about threatening their family and wives. All right, somebody put me in a corner like that. You, you, you gonna get a response for your ass? I bet you stop gambling. Show you how to gamble. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna I never gamble your life. That. Like going, it's never. You know what I mean? I like every young water. Every young water is too cool too. Hey, you like whatever the hell I give you to drink. All right. Tighten up, little man. Yes, sir. Beyond scared straight. Hey, comb his chest here. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen that? Yes. <laughs> they need to bring he that show back. Too. For real. Put KB in there. Hey, drink this Gatorade, little man. <laughs> <laughs> Tired of your pissing here. Yeah. Hey, I'm we, almost 30. We, he going to say, hey, eat that cheese. <laughs> eat that cheese. Eat that cheese. Someone's trying to kill me. <laughs> eat that cheese. Dip that big beef in that juke. <laughs> and not our juke. You have to jump me before I eat some cheese. Eat that cheese is crazy. <laughs> they pinning them down, <laughs> putting cheese fries in it. <laughs> DBM's over there looking like, damn, I wish I was him. <laughs> DBM's like, pin me down. Oh, <laughs> uh, never mind. DBM's like, pin me down right now. What team we on? Demon is like, I'll, he trying to use reverse psychology. <laughs> that would work with me. <laughs> Hell no. Y'all, I, I, I would be going for that shit. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, never, oh, wait, never do that to me. <laughs> Oh he putting on the bill while he's talking, talking about it. I wish they would. <laughs> oh, oh, man. One thing I ain't going for <laughs> if somebody put a big beef with cheese dip <laughs> in a cheese. <laughs> ain't never. And I'm a really act a fool if it's a double bacon cheese version. <laughs> Y'all crazy, man. He over there daydreaming. Watch it. Some guys have all the luck. <laughs> KB just having the worst time in his life. He just wishing that was him. He tapping out the inmate. You see this shit? He think he all that good. <laughs> <laughs> he think he all that because he got somebody feeding him. He's talking about where they get that food from. I'm going to tell the cafeteria. They got food missing. <sighs> Yo. Like, I wish Dick had did that to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the next thing is the Kings, bro. 